the Dassault Rafale M emerged as the frontrunner for the multi-role carrier-borne fighter, MRCBF, programmed to supply 26 fighter aircraft for the Indian Navy aircraft carriers, thereby beating the Boeing F-A-18 Super Hornet. In the MRCBF program two competitors were left, the Dassault Rafale M and the F divided by a minus 18E divided by F Block 3 Super Hornet. The Bharatiya Nau Sena, IN, Indian Naval Air Arm, has now submitted a report on the two fighters, which saw evaluation trials in India earlier this year, to the Ministry of Defence, MOD, to take a final decision. According to this report, the Rafale M has been found more suitable in meeting the operational requirements and criteria of the Indian Navy compared to the F-A-18 Super Hornet. The outcome in this MRCBF program will still be an interim solution till the indigenous twin-engine deck-based fighter, TEDBF, being developed by the Indian Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, is ready. Earlier the Indian Navy optioned the Improved Light Combat Aircraft Navy LCA Navy, to be inducted as the new fighter. However, as the LCA is a single-engine aircraft, they must have abandoned this idea. On September 2, 2022, India commissioned a second aircraft carrier, the INS Vikrant, R-11, next to the INS Vikramaditya, R-33. The INS Vikrant will become fully combat-ready by around mid-2023, after the MiG-29K-QBs complete the crucial flight trials from the new carrier and the carrier is equipped with high-tech weapons like the Israeli Origin 80km range Barak-8 surface-to-air missile systems. Currently, the Indian Navy operates around 39 MiG-29K-QB fighter aircraft, but the operational serviceability for this aircraft is already a major problem for some years. It has not been reported when the Indian MOD will take the decision ad when the Cabinet Committee on Security, CCS, will clear the defense deal.